Hello, I'm Adam and this is Kaylee. Hi. And we are the Amusaholics. Join us on our adventures as we take you to some of the best amusement parks, theme parks and attractions throughout the UK and Europe. Um, but not only that, we'll also be talking about booking and travelling there and how to do that. We'll be showing you how to get great deals on park tickets and we'll also be discovering some great places to eat. Today we're at Flamingo Land where we're looking to enjoy their brand new ride sick amongst others. And uh, without further delay, let's get into the park. Yeah, it looks like the sun's uh, coming out now as well, so yeah. that's, good, that's good news. Yeah. And uh, beh behind us we have the uh, Behind us we have the famous ride itself. <laughs> and here it is in all of its glory. Ooh. Sounds like things are getting started. We better get over there and get on. <laughs> And here we are, the beautiful Flamingo Land Resort. Excited, Kaylee? Yeah, super excited. They're sick of the distance. Let's get over there and get a ride on. Yeah, look at this Metropolis Bar and Grill. That looks like a nice place to eat. We might have to give that a go later. Mm. Looks really nice, actually. It does look nice. This place has really improved since we were here a few years ago, hasn't it? Ah. Sick games over here. I might have a go with those later, but I'm pretty rubbish. You never know, you might get lucky. You never know. <laughs> but it's quite unique this ride because you actually go in through the shop rather than just uh, coming out of the shop. I don't think it's open just yet. I don't know, we're gonna have a look. Oh, there's a five minute queue, so I'm guessing so. It's not open yet, unfortunately. No? Not open yet? Open <laughs> fun there, Kaylee. Yeah, it's good to hear. The music's right there. Yeah, it's really good. Looking quite quiet at the moment, to be fair. I don't think they've um, got anybody on it yet. Yeah, we're going to go on, uh, on the booster bike. Exciting. <laughs> Away, mine train. Choo choo. <laughs> oh, it's like it's a two lap. Choo choo! Oh, hey! Ooh, it's not too bad actually, for a small coaster. Woo! Oh! Bit of a shake at the end there. We go again. Okay. Woo! Oh, a bit quicker the second time. There we go. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Woo! 
That was good. Dino roller. He's a roll in. Here we go. Yeah, the wheel does look cool to be fair. Not a bad view from up here, even though it's not that tall. It's a bit of a go around first, isn't it? Here we go. Yeah, this looks, looks like a good ride as well. It's a shame it doesn't seem to be open today. Very well themed. That's a good little place if it's raining. Keep the kids entertained. Yeah, the arcade. Yeah. The, uh, the hub. Located right by the uh, Formula One ride. Yeah, let's go for it. So we're getting on Flamingo F1. I'm going to take you with us. Can I go? I don't know. Does it work? Then no, you can't go. <laughs> Green! Go! 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 It's not quite as fast as Rita. <laughs> He'll speed up once we get out of the station. On the podium we have number four and number ten. Hey, and we're up. Number ten's taking an early lead, probably because he's lighter than me. This is quite fast. Yes, it's good. Got a hero in the background there. Oh, we've overtaken. Is he a mechanical problem? It's a good little ride, this. <laughs> this is great for Katie because she hasn't got a driving license. <laughs> yeah. Get some practice. Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Great little ride, to be fair. <laughs> it's not majorly fast, but it's just uh, it's a great family ride. It's thrilling. Oh, drop towers going up. Oh, it's uh, a booster, isn't it? It launches you. Cliffhanger. Just missed cliffhanger. There they go. About to go downhill. Ooh. Oh, it breaks. Bit of also brake in there. Still, that was good fun, actually. I enjoyed that. Mm. We got on there at the right time. The queue's really building up for this one. It's a great ride, but it's nice little uh, pirate themed water area here. Nice area. It's not quite the weather for that, to be fair, but uh, it's good that they've got it. It'd be great on a hot day. So we're going to treat ourselves to a, uh, to a refillable drink. So we just picked up a Mom's Fabulous Hot Dog. Yeah. It looks pretty nice. It was a little bit on the expensive side at £4.20, but uh, we'll give it a go. 
Ah, that was actually quite nice. Hot dog to be fair, I quite enjoyed that. Yeah, we're nice. We're nice. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Tamale doesn't seem to be open just yet. Uh, hopefully, it's just a staggered opening situation. Not a, uh, not a massive fan of uh, drop toes. Getting better. But, uh... To be fair, this is more of a, a launch tower than a drop tower. Uh, they do come down, but it's, uh, yeah. She doesn't look too bad for this one, so maybe 10 15 minutes, something like that. So we'll take you on with a Omni POV. Here we go. Yeah, we could have a better view on this, but it's still going to be epic. That's true, Holiday Park's just over there. Whoa! Woo! Oh, that's a rush. It's an amazing view. You just don't expect it, do you? Yeah, there's just a bit of an entertainment menu down there. Oh, that was a great ride on Cliffhanger. I was really surprised actually, it was really thrilling to be fair. <laughs> It'd be scary. Yeah, it was good though. Got a good, view, good view of the holiday park, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, just to make everyone aware, they have introduced new um, rules related to GoPros. You do now have to get permission in advance. They do allow you to record on rides, as you've just seen, um, but you do have to get permission before this is in the park. Yeah, right, and, and the guy, the road operator, he actually um, said we couldn't use a GoPro, and we, had, we said we got yeah, permission, we did, we, and he had to go and check. Yeah. And he did go and check, which is which is a good thing, to be honest. Yeah, that's right. There's people who are using camera equipment unsafely, then just that's the problem, so. Anyway, let's uh, continue our adventure around Flamingo Land. Woo! If you're looking for places to eat, another good idea is this diner. Uh, we came here a few years ago and the food was really nice, to be fair. It's got some outdoor seating area and uh, some indoor seating area, and yeah, we really enjoyed it last time, didn't we, to be yeah, fair? Yeah, we did. Yeah, let's have a quick look at the menu. Yeah, let's have a quick look at the menu. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Looks good. Maybe come back here later. Rocking Tug, a little Zamperla disco in there, and Rocking Tug, and of course Hero. Now, uh, Hero's a bit of a controversial ride. It's a bit of a love or hate relationship with this one. We came on it a few years ago, and we didn't find it that comfortable, so I think we're going to give it a miss today, but all the same, a three and ride. And if you're after a coaster credit, then it's still a credit. Okay, now we're going to take a ride on Pterodactyl. Here we go on Pterodactyl. This is scary. This ride is a bit scary. <laughs> For me anyway. Oh, good view of the animals there. They're going to be cold. <laughs> oh, the rhino's out. Yeah. Whoa, this is pretty high. Yeah. Near the oh my word. <laughs> the view from up here is incredible though. It is a bit cool up here. It's nice though. It's a nice sweep. It's quite a warm day to be fair. Could you a sick over there?
the animals later. good. I enjoyed that. I don't know why, but I did feel a bit more secure than last time. I'm not sure if the seatbelt mechanism is new. But yeah, that was, that was good. Got a little dino dig over here, which is uh, an activity for kids. I'm not sure if it's actually open today, to be fair, but uh, it looks interesting. Sandpit, yeah. It's pretty cool. A few more kids rides over here in the dinosaur themed area. So we're at the Twistosaurus and apparently the oldest person to ride a roller coaster rode on here on the 6th of April 2017. Let's go give this one a go. two laps on this one. And um, we're off. On the Spinosaurus. Oh yeah, the rhinos are out there. Second lap, here we go. Yeah. So we're both sat on the same side of the four person car and that gives you a serious spin. So, yeah. <laughs> Might be regretting it a little bit, but ah, it's good fun. Here we go. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed that. I'm a bit nervous about attempting to get off after this though. <laughs> I will not be walking in a straight line. Nice little shop here at the end of the ride. Lots of dinosaur related items. Some really cool magnets I've just seen. Magnets? Ooh, we love a magnet. 3D. Oh yeah. Take a look at those in a bit more detail in a moment. Some mugs and dinos and other toys for the kids. And of course, drinks and ice creams. If you're looking for something other than rides to do, there is also the arcade. If you are planning on playing the arcade games, they're only playable via game cards rather than with change. So you can come to this kiosk just by the toilets but near the main entrance to tap, up, tap your card and top it up. So we forgot to mention earlier, we've got ourselves one of these Flamingo Land refillable cups. At the time of filming, July 22, they're £15 and that gives you free refills all day. 
Oh look, it's got the uh, sick on the roller coaster on there and the red panda in front of it. Actually. Yeah, it's cute. So here we're just walking down the path past the little dragon ride towards the zoo and there's a nice little picnic area here for enjoy here with your family oh, yeah it's been good nice quiet bit away from the road yeah for if you want a bit of peace and solitude i believe the uh mystery mansion's also up this way somewhere isn't it yeah it's just there just in front of us yeah that looks good yeah little donkeys it's mine in their own business hello Quite good. There's a bit of seat in here as well, so if you've got a bit of food, you can uh, have a sit with the donkeys. It's quite nice. We're in a bit more of um, a kiddie area now by the Muddy Duck Farm. And there's a few more kids' rides around here and a zoo shop. Just coming up towards the Muddy Duck Farm, we spotted another pretty nice looking place to eat and grab a drink and a break the Coach House. It's just behind a pirate ship over here and looks like there's a whole themed play area for the kids to enjoy. Which is good. And the Muddy Duck Farm. Oh, that's sweet. Look. It's plump chicken. A nice little tractor ride over here for the kids. It's quite a long way to be fair. Would you look at these? Oh. Turkeys, I think. He's a chicken, she's a chicken. Hello. Continue into the uh, Peter Rabbit adventure. We've got some African pygmy goats. Mm. They're standing so still you'd think they were a statue. Oh, they're very cute. Yeah, they're sweet. It's by the mansion tea rooms. There's a cheeky peacock up there on the roof. How do you get up there? The penguins have got their own little sanctuary. Is rather nice, and there they are hiding. <laughs> Look at this little guy, the baby ostrich or emu. Another one there. Look. Enjoying the finest grass money can buy. Ah, oh, Grey Terea. Hello. They're nice. Hello, little guys. They're shrugging. I don't know if you can see, but they're shrugging at me. <laughs> Look at these guys. Little herd of, I think they're capybaras, but I'm not an animal expert. They're sweet though. Like a little family. Yeah. Mm. Except for the one on the back. He's the black sheep of the family. <laughs> Another option if you're looking for something uh, quintessentially British. The mansion house and tea rooms do a lovely uh, afternoon tea or if you just fancy a uh, scone or something with a bit of cream and jam. A brand new Peter Rabbit play area for the kids. A nice bit of background music next to the mansion house. Weather's taken a little bit of a turn for the worse, but uh, hoping it might hold off. From the zoo bit. We're just coming round to the part of the zoo with the Avery. Ah, some parrots. Hello. Hello. I'll just get a grunt, that's all I'm worth. 
Ah, we've got ourselves an emu encounter. Hello. Hey. <laughs> it's a bit restless, isn't it, Buzz? You want some food, don't you? I haven't got any I'm allowed to give you, I'm afraid. They're lovely though, aren't they? Yeah. They're very big birds. Look at the size of those feet. Yeah. In the wallaby walk. It's nice that they've got a bit of a zoo here as well, to be fair. Oh, lovely. What, you seeing? Oh, yeah, up on the rock. Some more over here, look. It's a nice little area, to be fair. There they are. Just chilling. Ah, look at these guys. He's nibbling something. You got a conquer of you. You got a conquer. Hmm. Yeah, yes, and I'm not sharing. Very long antlers. Yeah, I have got very long antlers. It's nice over there. It's very tranquil around here, to be fair. It's good if you just want to get away from the noise of the rides for a bit. <laughs> just um, have a bit of peace and quiet. It's really good. It's Wallaby Rock. Check out the Black Rhino Reserve. Can you spot the camouflage rhino up against the stones? He's well hidden to be fair, but he's there. Look at the size of that baboon on the rock. All the little ones around him and he's just massive. Doesn't think much of the weather there, he's just sitting. Hey guys. Hmm. Meerkats are funny, aren't they? Oh, they are cute. He's having a dig in the gravel. He's looking for something. Over by the giraffes. We've got a nice big paddock. Got the Lost River ride in the background there. He's sitting down over there, he's having a break. Some zebras as well. See Kamali in the background, which we just saw go around, so hopefully we'll be able to get on there a little bit later. And take a look inside the aquarium. Slowly the rain's coming down now, but it's not deterring the rhino from having a good time. Really good kick. You saw the rain and decided to come out. Yep, he's the only one among us. He's like, ah, oh, it's raining, I better get outside. <laughs> <laughs> Clean go, speedy turtle.
There comes the next boat on the Lost River ride. This one looks like an absolute soaker of a ride. The suspense build up is crazy. They are drenched. Here we've got Voodoo, the pirate ship. It's very nicely themed. Sadly, it's not running today, but that was advised on the Flamingo Land website. Navigator, the Zamperla Disco, and we're gonna give this one a go. And um, we're off. Spin the enables. Not as intense as the ones with the double dip to be fair. The double dip ones are the best. Not the new one of Dread Manor. Thor's really good to be fair. Um, but yeah, still a good ride. The last sea on its way. Rise and shine, shipmates, all hands on deck! <laughs> aye aye, Captain! Another glorious day about the black heart! Being a pirate means adventure. Ha! Which way to turn? I was like a fish out of water. But then I got in that kitchen and I discovered my passion. If you want to be a proper pirate, Jim, I say grab a recipe book. Oh, good cousin, there's a host. Well, there's one shark I miss the most. I miss my baby brother. I was a bad baby shark. Oh, baby shark. Oh, baby shark. Oh, baby shark.
Excited. Just want to say uh, thank you to Flamingo Land for granting us permission to do an on-ride POV, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on there. Just done our first ride on Sick, and 
cliche alert, it was sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to be, it had to be done. Someone had to do it. We was on the front and um, there's a lot of mist effect going on. Yeah. So we got absolutely drowned in. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting it to be a water ride, but yeah, just watch out. If you're on the front, you are going to get a little bit wet. Um, what can I say? It's another brilliant roller coaster. It's a tribute to the UK, really, because um, yep. the UK only has so many extreme roller coasters. So it's really good to see another one get added to that repertoire. Really, um, yeah, really impressed. Yeah, yeah, it's, de it's definitely by far the best world in this park. Yeah, it is. So it really far, is. Yeah, yeah. So. it's absolutely fantastic. Here it goes from the background. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, um, really, really pleased. Really glad we got to go on it. Yeah, they had a little bit of a um, slow start this morning, didn't they? Um, it didn't open immediately. Um, no, it's not open until this afternoon, so that's, yeah. that's been a bit, um, it was a bit concerning to start with, uh, yeah. but no, it's, uh, just it's just, we just got this open and, and ready and working. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and everyone's out enjoying it. Yeah, you're right, We give Mumbo Jumbo a go and take you on with a POV.
So we've just taken a ride on Mumbo Jumbo and Kamali. Ooh. Yeah, they were quite good to be fair. Mumbo Jumbo, um, it's pretty extreme. I don't really like the restraints. They're a bit on the hard side to be fair, aren't they? Yeah. Um, they hurt my shoulders a little bit, but it was a really thrilling ride. And the Beyond Vertical Drop and the Upside Down Pass were really cool, yeah, to be fair. Cool. I do really like that ride. Um, yeah, and uh, Kamali. Um, yeah, I, I looked at it and it does look like some of the more older type coasters that sort of really knock you about. Yeah. But to be fair, it was actually... It wasn't too bad. Yeah, and you got a bit of a knock, didn't you? Yeah, he's, he's, he's trusted me a bit a bit, but... Yeah, I, I was okay, to be honest. I got a little bit of head ping pong. I've been on worse. <laughs> <laughs> bit of head ping pong right at the end, but, um, but it didn't hurt. So it was still a good ride, to be fair. Um, yeah, I'd recommend both of them, to be fair. They were, yeah. both, they were both decent coasters. Um, the wait times this afternoon are a lot shorter now than yeah. they were this morning. Yeah, so. um, I don't think the weather's really helped because it's it's sort of rain, trying to rain quite a bit now. But um, yeah, we're still making the most of it, having a good day. Yeah, great. Right. Not surprisingly, the splash battle is deserted. It's pretty cool to be fair though. I love the uh, yellow and red theming and the rock in the middle. Unfortunately, Flip Flop appears to be out of order at the moment. It might be because of the weather, potentially. But uh, it looks like it's in good condition. And it was operating earlier, um, fortunately. For the time being, it's closed. Let's take a ride on Zoom. Everybody wants to go on the front. It's only a little one, but it's cool that it's an inverted. An inverted junior coaster is pretty cool, like a junior junior coaster. Dripping on me. Ah! Oh! It's better than it looks, to be fair. Here we go again. Oh, my legs are literally getting soaked from the drip from the track dripping on me. The wheels are literally flinging water at me. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, thanks, Scaly. Oh, man. It's like been at the car wash with the windows down. Flame wash. <laughs> yeah, the flame wash, yeah. <laughs> Feeling mist coming from sick. It's like it's on fire. Oh, there's a big bucket down there. Little bang there, isn't it? It's funny because it's not actually the track that's banked, it's the actual plane that's banking.
ostrich is trying to pinch that giraffe's food. He is brave. He's bigger than you. Lost River Ride standing tall up there. We didn't quite fancy that one with the weather today. It's a cool ride to be fair, but it's pretty much the same as Tidal Wave at Thorpe Park. You get absolutely drenched. Oh my word. Look at the mist around Sick now. It's a mist of morning on the hill. Trying to see if we can sneak in one last ride before closing. Lift Hill is fast. What a view. Here we go! Silk shop. Have I got some six silk merch? Do you reckon, Kaylee? Oh, look at the penguins! <laughs> They're funny. Oh, and giraffes, cheetahs, or leopards. So we've just come off another ride on Sick, and it was brilliant. To be yeah, fair, great, yeah. yeah, it gets better every time you go on it. I further think. the back this time. Yeah, we were further back. To be fair, so we so didn't get drenched. We didn't get, didn't get as wet, <laughs> did we? So that was better. I still think that slow roll's a bit tedious, um, but yeah, it was good. It was really good fun. To be fair, yeah, it does hurt your legs a little. It hurt my legs a little bit in the in the slow roll part. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little bit. Yeah, the, the hang's nice, Absolutely. but then you kind of get a lot of... Good air um, Yeah, it's just kind, of, you're kind of a little bit... It's a bit like being in a washing machine. <laughs> but yeah, it is. It was great fun, to be fair. Yes. So yeah, this is bringing um, our day out from Mingo Lang to a close. Um, we've had a really good time, to be fair. Yep. Um, we were a little bit worried at first, because sick opened later than we thought it was going to. Um, as did Kamali as well. A few of the rides were, were shut before in the morning, weren't they? And then they yeah, yeah, they were, they were to be fair, weren't they? Um, but yeah. to be fair, uh, they all opened up in the end and we got everything we wanted to go on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been really good time, really good fun, to be fair. We, we would recommend it, to be fair. Yeah, it's a shame the weather hasn't really been very good for us. You wouldn't even believe it's July today, but uh, yeah. you know, it's just the way it goes. So yeah, I just want to say uh, thank you to Flamingo Land for having us and, uh, and for letting us film some, some on-ride POVs. Thanks, thank you very much. We'll see you again soon. Yeah, see you again.